Hey, it's Keith. Behind me, you see an ambulance, and I want to dedicate the work inside the ambulance and outside the ambulance to first responders around the world. For those that don't know, there are millions of first responders that take care of our needs from the hospital to the people that drive these ambulances to the paramedics and all the support that goes into that. So my hat's off to you for being there for us when we really need you. And the second part is that this is a children's ambulance. So for the millions of children and their families that have been in the back of this, you would know this more than anybody. So I decided to dedicate this build to these two audiences, which to me is really important. And I thought long and hard about taking something and again, using my hands, using my mind and sketching things and saying, you know, how can I take something that really wasn't designed for, you know, RV, off-road, this and that. And, you know, how could I just kind of be very creative and again, uh, be responsible and responsive to those, those groups. And by the way, I'm up at a 5,500 squid elevation and you're going to hear woodpeckers, which is great because it's good to be in nature. Having said that, um, I'm going to make a bunch of videos that I already have done. I'm just going to start dropping them on YouTube. So please subscribe if you want to see, and you maybe want to do this yourself, understand the reasons why I did what I did, the psychology around it, uh, how I got the materials and what I did, you know, whether it be for the electrical, for all the other components of it. And you'll see that in a few minutes. So if you're interested in subscribing again, please subscribe. And I'm going to walk people through how they could do it as well. And it just takes a little bit of time and you can do this on the weekends or nights or if you have more time off i think it's a great thing to do for your mind for your spirit for your soul and then you can be up in nature like i'm up here and um again i really think it's again paying it forward and saying thank you to first responders that are there for us for all sorts of difficult things in, in our lives and especially with this one with with children and you'll see some things inside that are related to children that i kept there which i think is important and everything i kind of repurposed in the ambulance so with that said, if you're ready to see it and you want to see a bunch of other videos again, come take a look. All right, let's go check out the ambulance. Let's listen to the woodpeckers pecking away at this tree. So just for starters, this ambulance is about 22 feet long. The box is about 14 by eight. The first thing you'll notice when you open the door, everything's stainless steel and they're built incredibly well. And a lot goes into the engineering of these things. If you've ever seen one or ever been inside one, we're at the privilege to be inside one in this situation. So this was what they call cabinet number one. Again, I left all the stickers and decals again to pay homage. But if you look at how well these cabinets are built and the latches. So this is officially a closet. So uh, you can put all your clothes in here and then some probably for two people if you're going on the road. Can have your fire extinguisher there also has a heating and air conditioning system built into the back here and then as I mentioned uh, sitting down telling you the story this was a children's ambulance so I kept all the stickers from Elmo and Bert and Ernie and Oscar and a great, great metaphor to not be a grouch right so everything is kept intact I replaced the lights with LEDs and stuff and you can turn some of these lights on individually so put a little more light in here I'll tell you a little bit about uh, you know some of the layout and things. So most of the layout was exactly like this, minus obviously the things in here. So these to be three chairs here that were bolted to the frame, and there were two chairs here. And this chair was always here. I just moved it up a little bit. So behind the chair, you can again pull it forward like a regular chair, and I have the toilet back there. I'll talk about that in another video. There's also the existing electrical box, which can be a little bit intimidating, but in some ways it's really not. And I'll go into that in detail in the next video or in one of the videos and how I intercepted some of the wiring and things. And again, this cabinet here was, again, you can read that it says toys. So they had a children's toy box here. But again, the, the quality of the material is just uh, fantastic. Again, this is the command center for the paramedic. So all the equipment, again, I left. I did some relabeling on some of the items. Put a little LED light underneath there. I just temporarily, recently, just wanted to see how it looked at nighttime. It looks kind of cool. And you have your heating air conditioning controls. You can turn the exhaust fan on, buzzer to the front. Um, this is an induction cooktop. So this is a two burner. It boils water in like three minutes. I also have a tea kettle that I can plug in. This is 1800 watts, which runs off of the electrical system, which is right through there, which I'll show you in a minute. 
Um, this is a lagoon table that I get from the boating industry. So it allows you to kind of move your table around and do different things. This I bought at Ikea. It's a bamboo top. Over here we have uh, a cabinet and I cut out the top here and uh, made it a sink. And that goes down to the gray tank, which I'll show you in another video. And again, these, again, these cabinets are so well built with um, these shocks. I put a couple new shocks in so they would close good. And I left this little bumper here. This was, you know, where the seats, there was a couple of them back here. Over here is a, I think it's a 4.5 cube refrigerator, I think, or 4.3. Again, um, this is an AC refrigerator. You can barely hear it. Super quiet. And, um, this is a cabinet that I built, like with a little drawer slide pull out, so you can kind of store more food or different things you need. Then again, behind there was also, a, this was an x-ray um, box, like a light box. So I just repurposed that and I took um, a light box cover again, trying to upcycle everything so that when things won't fall out when you're driving. And Ernie's watching as well over here. I wanted some timber in here to go with the steel and the aluminum and stuff like that. But again, all these cabinets are incredibly well built. And so you can kind of put anything you want in here. This cabinet opens up to the backside and below there is the spare tire. Um, I also kept the DVD player in here and this pops down and they actually left Shrek in here, which was kind of nice for them to do that for me. And then I also have a setup for an inside shower, which I'll show in another video. And the shower head comes through here. Um, again, over here, this was a bed that I bought and I modified. And I'll explain that in another video, like how I did it and measured. And it kind of pulls out and then pulls up and opens like a bed and a couch. So it does both. And this is memory foam, so it's really comfortable to sit on and to sleep on. And you can see the floor here, it's rubberized and there's the, the brackets again for um, when they mounted gurneys and different things, um, which I kept. And this pretty much is the inside. And I'll make some more detailed videos or if you have any questions, please let me know and I will go over it with you. And then outside here, we have the outside Hawaiian shower. Somebody that's lived in Hawaii for a long time. So what you have is a propane um, tank there, like the one you get at the, uh, you can get filled up, it's just like for like a barbecue. And then I have a, a pump system. It's a little bit crowded in here. Sorry, it's a little messy. So I can fill my water right here. I can filter my water and then I have hot and cold go into this and then also go into the sink. I have a hose here so I can wash things off. This hula hoop I use to make a ring for a shower. And this is also for your feet when you're outside. And I also have a recirculating shower, which I'll talk about, a simple one. And then this is 42 gallons of water. And very quickly, you just click on this button and um, you'll, get, you'll get hot water, like really fast. And it took some work to think about how to fit all that stuff in there when it closed. It was definitely some work. Now let's go over to the other side to the um, electrical cabinet. And again, that tank, that cabinet, these are both about the same. They're about 22 by 22 by about six, six. These are where they would store the oxygen tanks. And that's why they had these little pass-through doors as a fail safe. Not only were there sockets on the center of the ceiling, but they also had these fail safes. So back to the engineering that went into these ambulances is just fantastic. So this is the electrical box. So I thought, you know, if you want to run something, what do you want to run? Now the existing ambulances, they had the inverter over in here and it was only a thousand watt inverter. So I wanted something a little bit more robust to run more than one thing at one time. And as I might've mentioned in the beginning, the induction cooktop uses 1800 watts. So that wouldn't have ran on here. So I have multiple ways to make electricity. I have solar, I can, charge from the alternator and then I also can charge from shore power plug into the house plug into a campsite anything again this is a 3000 watt inverter at 12 volts it will accept about 50 amps pass through not to get into a big electrical discussion but I'm going to make a video to talk about that and um, 
Again, this is Victron system. It's amazing. And there's a cool app that I have, which I'll show you in another video. I kept some spare fuses here and here for in case that they ever blow. And this is my AC box here, which again, I'll go through in length at the next video, but just like three dedicated circuits for the ambulance. And then over here, I have two batteries and I've uh, made a concession or a consideration to having two more here. And again, this shelf here originally was bolted in uh, way up here and I just repurposed it. And back to doing some drawing and thinking. Um, I try to keep this here to when people ask me about this. So I took some time to kind of cardboard engineer the whole thing before I put like one screw in the wall. And I'm going to go through a long video on that. If you're interested, you can subscribe and understand a little bit how you can do it yourself and whether it be for something that's physically moving or for your house or maybe you're going to build a little cabin or maybe a tiny home the video might be helpful for you then over here this was the original electrical and uh, not very exciting so i just basically again repurposed things like this this metal thing here it was mounted upside down with the, covered the pumps and the inverter and um i just again reused that this was here so I got some tools and this is kind of how I actually built it. And I'll explain a little bit how I built it um, all different kinds of places, and especially when you're trying to build one of these things. It's like, where do you go in and not get the parts all the time? I go into that in another video, but I can also, again, off of my solar, I can always keep my uh, batteries charged here, which is awesome. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, this, uh, this cabinet was for the spare tire and hold on somebody's leaving this little area right here. Let me just uh, put that on pause a second or. Yeah, this cabinet here is again, uh, the bottom half is where the spare tire is and then the top is the pass-through on the other side. And so you got more storage space. And up on the roof, let's see, can I do this? It might be kind of crazy. I put up a backup camera as well. And again, here we have a way to um, have a lift, which is a controlled, in a controlled turn it on off inside or there's a key switch there. So you can actually, this can come out about uh, six something feet and you could actually cook and barbecue. And you know, if you really want to get somebody in and out of the ambulance, you can, cause that's what they use for children. And this little uh, cabinet here is some storage and that's where the the lift is for that, um, uh, for the, uh, the pump is for the lift in the back. And then again, over here, this cabinet, I didn't really do anything with, which I can just show you briefly. Um, this used to open on with all the doors as well. And I decided to do something a little different here because I didn't really need this to open anymore because if it's gonna be a closet, I wanted to figure out a way where I could let some light in. So I disconnected the electrical and the arm here. So if you're out maybe by the beach, you wanna let some light in, but you don't want sand and dirt and dust in, you can uh, let some light in, let some more light into the, into the vehicle. And then down here again is for batteries. Right, let's go take a walk back over to the bench. Let's talk about it a little bit more. Let's see if I can do this without making a mistake or tripping and falling. All right. Let's see how that looks. We're going to find out. The one shot. So anyway, I hope this was interesting for you. I hope um, I can help you with some other things. Like I said, make some comments below the video if you're interested, please subscribe. I'd love to help everybody uh, work with their hands and work with their hearts and be able to spend some time up in the trees with the woodpeckers here chipping away. And I think it's also important to, um, again, take a little break. I think we, we all had a lot of, we've all had a lot of society in the last 10 years and probably in the last two or three more than anybody. But it's good to just go build something or if you're an artist go paint something and go do something with your hands and um, you'll find a lot of satisfaction i know it's taken me quite a bit of time to do this and think it through but it's also very rewarding and um, you can say you actually did something yourself and um, you know you can also be the chief encouragement officer and inspire the next person and i hope that by me doing this for you and showing you that maybe you'll be inspired in whatever the work that you're doing and the things that you're doing 
and uh, again especially the reason why i did this for the audience that i did it for can begin to tell you like uh, no matter where I go with this, you know, I'll get a first responder show up in an ambulance. Hey, can I talk to you a minute? What, what do you have going on here? So I think that's great. And uh, I also visited a few places where there were first responders and just try to understand how these things were built and stuff. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Like I said, I will help everybody that wants to understand if you make some comments like, how did you do this? How did you do that? How did you build this? What were you thinking here? What did you use here? I'll go through all that and... Um, help you kind of build something for yourself. Again, if it's not an ambulance, it could be anything. But invariably, you can take the same concepts and kind of shrink them down for your application. Well, thanks for watching and thanks for your time and thanks for sharing it. And please share it if you know somebody might be interested and um, look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day.